Our coverage of Computex 2025 is brought to you by Yenwin. If I say enough, maybe you get the message. AMD sure can release exciting products, but it can't make exciting presentations for the life of them. The Computex 2025 keynote is maybe 5 minutes of actual product launches, and the rest just grandiose statements and patting themselves in the back for almost one and a half hours. Good thing that in the live stream you can only see me from the back, because otherwise you would have seen that I was just on my phone the whole time. Though of course the highlight of the presentation was the fact we finally got a full confirmation of the 9060 XT, something we all knew was coming and we even had most of the specs for already. However, it was great to hear all the details from AMD regardless, including some performance estimates compared to Nvidia, but oh naughty you AMD, I see you comparing it to the 8 gig version of the 5060 Ti, you know the one that literally no one buys, though I guess it, though on the other hand I guess it's a bit more of a fair comparison when it comes to the price, given how that thing is $380 while the brand new AMD card is going to be $30 less. But of course we all know that there is another version of the graphics card, though I don't think AMD themselves know. Given how they pretty much didn't mention the 8 gig 9060 XC at all, apart from just the price at the very end, no performance numbers or anything. Most likely because of how much of a spanking Nvidia received from the community with the release of the 8 gig 5060 and 5060 Ti. So they just closed their eyes and crossed the fingers and hope they won't be treated the same way by a never satisfied crowd. And to be fair, I kind of don't blame them. Now naturally the 8GB will be a lot cheaper at $300 and you can buy these things starting on the 5th of June. Though again we have to see exactly how true the MSRP is, we know it's something that there was a bit of an issue with with the launch of the 9070 series. Now onto the other gaming oriented thing they actually showcased at Computex, something they're calling FSR Redstone. No, it has nothing to do with Minecraft. Redstone is a special version of FSR, the upscaling system for path traced games. Something that's infamously impossible to run. I mean, we've seen that already with games like, say, Indiana Jones on this very channel, where even on an RTX 4080, you're getting single digit frames at max settings. And while in some games, like say Cyberpunk, it isn't as bad, clearly something has to be done to make path tracing a lot more optimised and accessible, and that's exactly what Redstone is trying to do here, bundling together several technologies to make it much easier to run games that support path tracing. However, one important thing to note is that it's only available as part of FSR 4, that is, with RX 90 series graphics cards, you can't run FSR 4 with any other graphics cards, not last gen AMD, nor even Nvidia, which kind of goes against the open nature of FSR that AMD has been kind of targeting up to this point, and it means that we have to wait for Nvidia to announce their own thing, most likely later this year, at this rate. Thanks so much to Inwin for sponsoring our coverage, they're celebrating their 40th year anniversary this year, with major discounts on the existing chassis, plus a special 40th anniversary concept chassis, so definitely check them out down in the video description below. Plus, huge thanks to our patrons, Gavin Burns, Justin Ray, Jill Avroniak, Balash Volker, Patrick Harrison, Nolosu, them, make some and chain all craft. 